everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year and welcome to my 2018 Valentine card series. We're starting things off with a card using Lawn Fawn's Milk and Cookies stamp set as well as the Doodlebug Sweet Things 6x6 and then one pattern from the Milk and Cookies Christmas pad from Doodlebug which actually inspired this entire card. I've stamped out my images with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on some Copic Friendly cardstock and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. Now normally I would walk you through the entire coloring process as I do in almost all of my videos and you can check out my entire Copic playlist on my channel if you're interested in learning more about coloring with Copic markers. I've actually got several playlists on different coloring mediums and different styles of cards, so you can check that out if you want to. But today I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about the Cards from the Heart card drive, which benefits St. Jude's Children's Hospital. It's run by my friend Winter, who's actually been hosting it for the last nine years. And this is my fifth year doing a Valentine card series to coincide with that. And that's just because it's a cause that is very dear to my heart and I want to do my part to spread as much awareness about it as possible. So what happens is that card makers from all over the country and even the world make handmade Valentine cards for children and you send them to Winter and I will have her post office box address on my blog and there will be a link in the description bar below to check that out so be sure to do that if you're interested in participating, which I hope you are. But um, Winter collects all these cards, checks them all, repackages them, and ships them off to St. Jude's Children's Hospital and actually other children's hospitals as well. Last year, there were over 7,000 cards collected and they were sent out to 21 hospitals, two foster homes, and even a nursing home. So it, it just is such a good cause. It benefits so many people. I can't speak highly enough about it. So there are a couple guidelines that you need to follow if you want to participate. The first is that the deadline is January 31st and that is absolutely firm because winter needs the time to collect, check, and repackage all the cards and have them shipped to the hospitals in time for Valentine's Day. Also, they need to be cheerful Valentine theme cards. There needs to be no mention of get well soon or feel better. These kids are already sick. They know they're sick. We just want to give them a day to forget about what they're going through. The cards can have no buttons, enamel dots, or anything that could be pulled off to become a choking hazard, and also no glitter of any kind. The hospital is very insistent that if it looks sparkly, they will not accept it because it is a health hazard to some of the children. On the inside, you want to include a short, cheerful greeting, as well as your first name and your state. Um, no last names or cities, please. So I always sign mine, sending hugs from Christy in PA or something like that. Also, please don't include your blog address or any other personal information on the back of your card. And lastly, the cards need to be able to fit into a standard size envelope, but you do not need to include any envelopes at all. Winter will repackage everything into clear envelopes for the hospital staff. All right, so I know that seems like a lot of rules, but it really is for the benefit and safety of the children. And I will have all of that listed on my blog as well. So if you forget anything, you can refer back to this video or refer to the blog post. So I've trimmed out a focal panel using the Lawn Fawn Stitched Circle Stackables out of some pattern paper that has a bit of a text print onto it. And now I'm just adding all of my little embellishments with some liquid glue. I like to use the liquid glue because it gives you a little wiggle room to be able to move things around and adjust until you're ready for them to be kind of firmly pressed into place um, that just takes a few seconds for that glue to become permanent so you have a little bit of time. I'm adding the little cookies there. The one with the little bite out of it is going to go on the right towards the milk and then I will slightly overlap that with the smiling cookie over on the left. I'm going to take some Lawn Fawn Plastic Flamingo ink, which is also the ink that I use to stamp the straw, 
and I'm going to add a little trio of hearts with this little tiny heart that's included in the Milk and Cookies stamp set. Just kind of going up from the cookies. I thought that looked really cute. Then I trimmed out a little tab with one of the MFT Mini Tabs Quartets and I'm going to use that to stamp my sentiment on. So I'm just going to stick that in my Misty and I'm going to grab some Lawn Fawn Merman ink to bring out one of the other colors that we used in our culprit coloring today. And I'm just going to stamp down the Sweet Wishes sentiment that's included in the Milk and Cookies stamp set. While I have my Misty out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card. I'm using the little cookie jar from the Milk and Cookies set, and then the Happy Valentine's Day sentiment is from the My Silly Valentine set from Lawn Fawn. And there's a look at that one. That was actually the original Valentine set that Lawn Fawn released. To assemble our card, I'm going to take a piece of pattern paper from the Lawn Fawn Let's Polka collection and I'm going to adhere that down flat to our card front. And then I've got a little banner here that I'm going to add down on the left hand side and I'll just get that right where I want it placed. And then once that glue is adhered, I can flip that over and trim off the excess. I got a little glue on my work surface, so I'll just wipe that off and then I can continue on with the card. I'm going to add this little square of the Milk and Cookies paper, which was from the Christmas collection from Doodlebug, which inspired the whole card. And then I will add the little tab down at the bottom with our Sweet Wishes sentiment. I'll grab my focal panel and add a little bit more liquid glue to the back of that. I thought about popping it up with foam tape, but decided for the kids to just keep it nice and simple. So I'll just adhere that down in the center and make sure that that's nice and straight. And that is going to complete our card. I actually made two versions of this card with the extra pattern paper. So there's a closer look at the one that we just created. And then here is the second card that I made. So it's the same concept and design, but just a little bit different with the pattern paper. So I hope you guys will consider participating in this wonderful cause. Again, I will have a link to my blog post with all the necessary information listed in the description bar below. Here's two videos from day one of the previous two years of Valentine card series, so hopefully that will give you more inspiration if you're looking for it. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.